Hey everyone, welcome to the Filipino Freelancer YouTube channel. We make videos about freelancing, video... Wait a minute. Something's not right. There. Much better. <laughs> John Lamuel Humawid here. I make videos about freelancing, video editing, and video strategy. Please do consider subscribing if that sounds interesting to you. In today's video, we're talking about my superpower when it comes to freelancing. Now, before I reveal that superpower, let me share with you some lessons that I have learned through my freelancing journey and what it takes to have a successful freelancing business. Now, a successful freelancing business or a ideal freelancing business has four essential parts. The first phase is the foundational skills or the foundational concepts to become a successful freelancer. So this has everything to do with how to craft your offer, how to choose your market, how to understand the revenue line, how to position yourself as a freelancer. All these foundational skills you will need to become a successful freelancer. The second aspect of a successful freelancing business is mindset. So on top of the foundational skills, you also have to have a certain level of self-awareness and a certain level of mindset in order to be successful. Because when you're freelancing, you're, you're reaching out to people, you're putting yourself out there. You have to have a certain mindset in order to achieve those goals. Now, I talked a little bit about mindset in a previous video. Please check it out here and come back to this video and but yeah basically mindset is the second aspect that will lead you to freelancing success the third aspect is mentorship now ideally you should have three levels of mentorship in order to be a successful freelancer or a successful business first level of mentorship is your mentor or somebody that you look up to somebody that you emulate somebody who who's achieved the goals that you want to achieve or who has the sort of career that you want as well so that person can teach you things that they learned in their journey and what worked for them and what may work for you for your business as well the second level of mentorship is somebody who is in the trenches so to speak with you who is at the same level or at the same stage of the freelancing career as you that way you have somebody who you can bounce ideas off somebody who you can relate to who is at your level who is doing what you are doing and you can motivate yourself, you can motivate each other, and you can learn from each other's mistakes, and you can learn from each other's successes. And the third level of mentorship is somebody who is a beginner or somebody who emulates you or somebody who wants to reach the stage where you are. You need this level of mentorship because as you learn the lessons in freelancing, you can better absorb all these learnings and all these teachings if you share it with somebody else so one of the things that i have learned is that one way to really absorb what you are learning is to teach it that's part of the reason why i'm making these videos is because i enjoy teaching and through this teaching through this sharing of my knowledge i absorb more knowledge as well and so those are the three levels of mentorship that you need and the fourth aspect to a successful freelancing business is community of course as a you know, freelancer or, or as a business, you can succeed on your own, but it will take a lot of trial and error. You will have to go through a lot more challenges. You will have to go through a lot more pains and problems. Whereas if you have a community who you can ask questions, who you can, who cheers you on, who motivates you, who has your back, then you are that much closer to success. It's basically a shortcut to success because you have a group of like-minded people who support you, who motivate you, who pick you up when you're down, who cheer you on when you succeed, can bounce ideas off of. So that's why community is key to a successful freelancing business. Now, what if I told you that there was an online training platform that had all four of these aspects to a successful freelancing business? Yep, that's right. That's why I call it my superpower is because it has all four of these aspects. And my superpower is the Freelance Movement Tribe. The Freelance Movement Tribe was founded by Coach John Bagulayan two years ago. 
and it's a online training platform and community that teaches a different brand of freelancing. The core value of the tribe is to have freelancing mentioned in the same breath as a doctor or a lawyer because it deserves to be so. One of the reasons why I chose to do freelancing is because I do believe that freelancing has a lasting impact towards the businesses that we help. And I can speak from my personal experience with my clients is that I find great joy and a great sense of achievement in helping them achieve their goals through what I have to offer. And so I'm really proud to be part of the freelance movement tribe. And this is not a paid promotion for the tribe. In fact, I paid to join the tribe. So the freelance movement tribe is composed of the online training course or the online training platform. That's where we can learn the foundational skills, the concepts, how to understand how a business works, the mindset, all of that stuff is on the online training platform. Then you have the community and the mentorship aspect. So that is in the private Facebook group, as well as the different coaches that we have inside the tribe who mentor us through group coaching or through one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so that's why I can say that this really is a superpower because I have, I literally have everything that I need to succeed as a freelancer. The freelance movement tribe has provided me with all the tools, all the mindset, all the strategy, the community, all the mentoring that I need in order to be successful. The only thing that's left for me to do is to take action. If I fail as a freelancer in the goals that I have set out to achieve, it will be because of my failure to take action and not anything against the tribe because the tribe has done its best to set me up for success and it only needs me to take action and to commit to my goals as a freelancer. And that's what I want for you guys as well. Unfortunately, the tribe is closed for enrollment as of now, as of the making of this video, but you can check out the free, you can join the email newsletter, which I will leave in the description box below. And you can also join the free Facebook group, which is the Freelance Movement Workshop. Now, I can say from experience that this newsletter changed my life because this was my first encounter with the tribe, with Coach John, and I distinctly remember the feeling of reading his first lesson and thinking to myself, wow, I'm doing things wrong. Like everything I knew about freelancing was wrong. And I hope Coach John sees this video and if he does, he'll be happy with the impact that it has on me because one of the things, one of the lessons that the tribe teaches is that when you're putting out value to your target audience, you want them to think differently about the way they do things. You have more impact when your target audience or your market realizes something when they encounter your offer or when they when they interact with you they learn something new about themselves about their business about how they do things and that's exactly what happened to me and in summary i realized three myths when i first read coach john's newsletter and that first myth was that i needed a high paying skill in order for me to succeed as a freelancer. At that time, I was doing video editing for different businesses. I didn't choose a niche or a market. I basically accepted any video editing offer that I could. And I realized or I thought that I had to learn animation. I had to learn motion graphics. I had to learn After Effects in order for me to be paid higher. But the tribe showed me people who were offering skills that you wouldn't normally think of as high paying but they were getting premium clients or clients paying $1,000 or more. And at that time, I didn't even have a concept of premium client. All I wanted was to get somebody to pay me to edit their videos. So that was myth number one. Myth number two is that before you get paid, you have to do at least one week or two weeks worth of work or a month's worth of work before you even get paid. In the tribe, Coach John showed me people who were getting paid $1,000, $2,000 per project even before they did anything. It's either they were getting paid a down payment or the full payment even before they did any ounce of work. And that totally blew my mind because, you know, as an employee, 
coming from an employee background, you are, your mind is set to, I have to do the work before I get paid. There's, there's no way that I receive a salary unless I do work. And so that was another shift in mindset and another realization that I had that I was doing things wrong. The third myth was that your income is tied to the number of hours that you work. Now at that time, I was making three to four dollars per hour doing video editing and I had to track my time. I was tied to my desk and so my income was tied to the number of hours I logged in. Basically, I wasn't really a freelancer. I was still an employee, but I was just working from home. Like my mindset was that in order to make more, in order to get more income, I had to do more hours. I had to do more work. And it was totally opposite of what the tribe was teaching because the tribe teaches that your ability to get paid premium or your ability to get paid the amount that you think you deserve is based on the value that you can provide the business or the results that you can provide to your client. It has nothing to do with the number of hours that you work or the number of hours that you log in. It has everything to do with, can you get your client their desired results? Can you get them from, your cur from their current situation to their desired situation? That is what's most important. And if you understand that concept, you can get paid premium or you can get paid what you think you deserve. And so that email newsletter changed my life. At that time, I couldn't afford to join the tribe. I just joined this year. And already I have gone from becoming a average freelancer to somebody who is reaching my goals of becoming a six figure freelancing business or a freelancer. In the short amount of time that I have joined the tribe, um, so many things, so many good things have happened to me as a freelancer. and. One of the reasons why I'm sitting here right now making these videos is because I want to impart the knowledge and the teachings that I have learned in the tribe and in my own um, readings and learnings as well. I highly suggest you join the email newsletter. That will be your friend or your guide. And of course you will be updated when the tribe opens again, probably at the start of next year, which is 2021. Of course, feel free to join the Freelance Movement Workshop group. There's a lot of resources there, a lot of free resources that can get you started, whether you're just a employee thinking of becoming a freelancer or you're a beginning freelancer, or you're already freelancing for a couple of years, but you've come to the realization that you're doing things wrong, just like I did. And so that is a that, that Facebook group is a great resource to start with. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you got a lot of value from this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for chilling with me on this beautiful day. And uh, please do give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.